Hey YouTubers, this is The Edge on Poser TV, and today I wanted to address the topic of tithing. It's a, it's a much talked about topic with many of you, and I know that uh, it's kind of an older topic, so I don't expect a ton of responses, but me being new to the YouTube community, I kind of wanted to put my two cents in. and. Uh, let you know that yes I do enjoy your videos and your take on the topic because most of you are discussing that it's no longer uh, biblical uh, I mean it's biblical in the OT sense but that the whole obligation thing and the whole 10 percent thing just isn't a new covenant way of giving but I wanted to start off at the top here by um, kind of defining terms in a loose way anyway because I think the problem with the word tithe for most of you is that it does come with a sense of obligation um, and it further uh, defines how much you are to give which kind of takes away the whole worship response and the whole you know giving from the heart idea um, you just go into your storehouses, you get a tenth, a tenth of what you got, and you, you give it to God. And uh, you know, there's no thinking involved, there's no emotional response or just praising of God in that kind of a, um, a cold, defined um, definition. But above and beyond that, I don't really get my drawers in a wad over this topic because tithing to me has always just been a synonym for giving and I don't know how many of you have ever gotten your calculator out to figure out what 10% of your household income is and then actually put that much in the plate even back when you thought tithing was a good idea but I never did um, so I, maybe I was giving less than 10% maybe I was giving more I just never stopped to figure it out I just was giving and I think God meets you where you are. If you have a misunderstanding of giving and tithing, um, and you are giving your 10%, and you're in a church that doesn't teach otherwise, I still think God honors that. I think you can challenge Him on His promise in the Bible um, that He will outgive the giver. Um, but don't tithe just so that you can receive back. Um, and I think that's the other thing about the tithe that leaves a bad taste in our mouths. A lot of times people do it because there is a promise that says, you know, uh, whatever you give you will receive back uh, in multitudes more. Uh, that's a very loose interpretation in my own words of what it says, but in a sense, a lot of times I think people start off tithing that way because they think they're going to be richly blessed in return. A lot of televangelism um, takes advantage of that verse and um, I think they're severely misinterpreting it, and uh, I think that's wrong. So don't call it tithing, call it giving. Um, the other problem I have with some of your videos, and I say your because there's a lot of you that have these. In some cases, your videos seem to say or imply um, not to give at all, or at least not to worry much about giving to your church. I'm not on board with that. Um, I know churches can do dumb things with money. They can overspend um, on stupid marketing campaigns. They can try and build more buildings and gyms and you know neglect some real needs in the community. And if you're in one of those churches, go go get another one. I'm very impressed with how my church does things. Um, you know, we support a lot of local ministries, outreach ministries. We support national and international missionaries, some sent directly from our church, uh, some that have just come to speak at our church and ask that we give to them. Um, food pantry donations, uh, constant calls for people to do service. Uh, my church is more active than any church I've ever been to in the past. And so when I put some money in the plate, um, I know it's going to good things. And you know what? Ultimately, I trust God with where my money goes. 
You know, it's a worship response. It's something I do with a heart full of joy. And yeah, I'll give to other places. I do uh, give to a, a local food pantry and kind of a secondhand store that raises money for um, the poor in our area and the people that maybe are down on their luck and have been out of jobs for a while. It's called Christian Community Action. Uh, you know, and I also do a charity bike ride once a year to benefit multiple sclerosis and things like that. I know I could do a lot more than what I'm doing, but um, I, I just think we're getting too hung up on the word tithe. I think people are getting too frustrated with the obligation that seemingly comes with that. But you know what? The New Covenant is, is uh, as Christopher L. says, it demands even more of you. It demands that you give everything. I think some of you would probably rather give 10% than everything. So um, I'll just tell you a few more things about what my church does. In, in, a, in a video to come soon, I am going to say some things I've found about my church that I don't particularly gel with, and it, it's related to the Holy Spirit in the video before this one. But um, they never ask for your money. Uh, they never preach a sermon on it. The only thing that's ever said is before the collection plate is passed out. They mention how... Uh, you know, if you're a visitor, not to give, but if you um, want to support the outreach programs and the pastors of our church, and you uh, feel led as a worship response to give to God, then please do so. And the the if is in there so that if you don't feel that way and you don't feel led, you're not being uh, bullied into it. <clears throat> The other thing that's interesting about my church is the pastors have no access to the amount uh, that people give. They can't go into any database or record and say, hey, the Edge donates X amount of dollars every week. Let's, let's make sure and shake his hand every Sunday and maybe send him a letter asking for some, pledge, some extra pledges and let him be aware of some new campaigns that we're running. Uh, the only people that have access to my information or any of the givers' information are the deacons, and they don't ever call you or send you letters or put more pressure on you or whisper into the pastor's ear and say, hey, that's the guy you need to hit up for some money. So I think that's pretty cool, and I think that's a, a system of checks and balances that keeps them straight and prevents them from getting into a lot of the pitfalls that come with giving to a church. So anyway, give. That's the ultimate message of, of my video here. But give from the heart. Don't give out of obligation or guilt. For now, this is The Edge signing off.